Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to calculate the range of a data set. Range. What is range? Range is the difference between the largest and the smallest value of a collection of numbers. Range is a way of showing how spread out the data set is. A formula you could think of for calculating range would be range equals the largest number in a data set minus the smallest number in a data set. The steps you want to follow when calculating the range are first identify the largest number, then identify the smallest number. Finally, you're going to subtract the smallest value from the largest value. Let's take a look at example number one. Calculate the range of the following data set. Well, I'm going to follow my steps that I explained to you before. The first step is to identify the largest number in the data set, and in this case, it's going to be 8. And the second step is to identify the smallest number in your data set, and in this case, it's going to be 1. And the final step is to subtract the 2. So I have 8 minus 1, and that gives me 7. So the range of this data set is 7. Let's move on to example number two. Example number two, calculate the range of the following data set. Well, my largest number is 33. My smallest number is nine. I need to subtract these two. The largest number goes first, the smallest number goes second, and when I subtract, I get my answer, and my answer is the range. Whenever I have a number and it's nine, and I'm subtracting something by nine, I like to round. And so I say, well, let's say I took the number 33 and I subtracted 10 from it. Well, I know that would give me 23, but I didn't really need to subtract 10. I only need to subtract nine. So I know that 23 was a little bit off. It's not actually the correct answer. So I'm gonna actually add one to it. And I know my answer is 24. So that's how I subtract nine in my head. So the answer to example number two is your range is 24. So what does that mean? Do you understand what that means or are you just doing it because somebody told you that's how you calculate range? Let me show you what it means. It means if you have a number line and let's say my number line is marked off in intervals of 10. So this is 10, this is 20, this is 30, and let's do halfway mark. So this would be 25, this would be 15, and this would be five. Let's say I have all of these numbers marked off on this number line, okay? 14, that's gonna fall in between here. So this is 10, so this would be 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the 14 mark. I'm gonna mark it. Cross this off, because I've used it. 25, that's gonna be here. Cross it off, because I've used it. Oh, and let me put a star, like I did the other one. 33, 30, 31, 32, 33, put a star. Nine would be one over, put a star. 18 would be two to the left of the 20. And 12 would be 10, 11, 12, right here. So now all of these numbers that are in my data set are listed on this number line. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these other notches. I guess I could have did that in the beginning to make it a little more clear, but it'll be all right. The range being 24 means the distance on the number line from my smallest number to my largest number is 24 notches. So let's count this. This is, I'm starting here at the nine. This is one. Well, this is the first space and the next one over is one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. So if I were to go along my number line, starting at the smallest number in my data set and ending at the largest number in my data set, I would have moved twenty four spaces over my number line. That's what your range is, okay? So when we're calculating the range, we're trying to figure out how many spaces 
does this data set take up on a number line? Let's look at example number three. Which of the following data sets of numbers has the largest range? Okay, so this takes it a step further. We're gonna calculate the range twice for two separate data sets, and then we just answer the question, which set has the largest range? So for my first set, I gotta figure out my smallest number and my largest number and subtract them, right? So my smallest is 25, my largest is 34. Subtract them, so I have 34 is the largest, minus the 25, and that would give me nine. The range of data set one is nine. Now I gotta figure out my range of data set two. Okay, my largest is 13, my smallest is two, so I subtract those, 13 minus two, equals 11. My range for data set two is 11. Do not think, oh, well the numbers in data set one are larger numbers, so that means it's gonna have the larger range. No, that's not necessarily true. In this case, you can see that this has a larger range. That means this has a longer space that it takes up on the number line. It goes across 11 notches on the number line. The first data set would only go across nine notches, okay? When I'm answering the question of which of the following data sets has the largest range, that would be set two. Let's take a look at example number four. Kane recorded the heights of the basketball players on the school team in centimeters. What is the range of their heights? Well, I need to find the largest and I need to find the smallest and I need to subtract them. I got 176, 169, 177, 172, 167, 186, and 180. Okay, 186, that's my highest. My smallest looks like it is the 167. Minus 167. So if you were gonna manually subtract this, you could take the 186, stack it on top of 167, and remember, you're gonna have to make that a 16. Make this one less because you're borrowing or regrouping. Uh, 16 minus seven is nine, and then here's a one, and that's just zero. So the difference between the two is 19. So what's the range of their heights? 19, and remember these were centimeters, so you wanna say that the range is 19 centimeters. Now let's take a recap. Recap, the range is the difference between the largest and the smallest value of a collection of numbers. First, you wanna identify the largest value, then you wanna identify the smallest value, finally subtract the smallest value from the largest value. Now you try, comment with the correct answer below. Which of the following set of numbers has the largest range? Remember, this is like example number three. You're gonna to have to calculate the range for each set of data, then calculate which one has the largest range. You can find more of my videos at supereasymath.com. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Do you want Tiffany or a member of her team to be your tutor? Head over to supereasymath.com forward slash tutoring and check out some of the Super Easy Math online tutoring options.